Hi guys, I'm Oliver and today we are going to have fun with refraction. We are using glasses filled or partially filled with water to deliberately distort a backdrop to create images like these. Sounds complicated? It isn't. I'm going to show you. To achieve our results, we, all we need is some colored or patterned backdrops like these. You can literally use anything, um, colored paper, colored plastic. If you don't have anything, you do what I did. I just created some in Photoshop and all we have to do is print them out. The bigger the better. Okay, when you've done your backgrounds, you can either pin them on the wall directly or I make myself a little stand here, a piece of cardboard and uh, two paper clips which just makes it easier for me to exchange them and interchange them. The next thing, I went for a piece of black perspex, kind of reflective backdrop here. Um, it doesn't need to be reflective, you can literally take or use whatever you want, whatever you have available. If it's not reflective, just cut the bottom off and uh, nobody ever realizes. Another crucial piece of equipment we need is a glass, either a champagne flute, a wine glass, smaller ones. Martini works pretty well. Um, usually they have a funky shape and make sure they are clean. Well, I'm not the best glass cleaner, but I'll do the best I can. Um, if there are little imperfections in it, well, you should be able to fix them later in Photoshop, but uh, it's just another step you can save yourself. And put it right in the middle of it. And the final ingredient we want is water. But before I pour the water in, I bring the camera in place to show you what's going to happen. Once we have our glass in position, and now it's time to bring some water in. And uh, you're gonna see in a second what's happening. Pour it carefully, because we don't want to have the bubbles in it. If there are bubbles, not the end of the world. Just have to wait until they settle. And uh, you can already see this is the desired effect we want. Just to show you that, because I'm uh, going to use flashes in a moment, but just to show you that it doesn't need to be flashes, I'm just bringing some light in the back with a torch, something like that. So if you do not have a flash, it doesn't really matter. You can use a single torch or whatever light source you, uh, you have available. The only thing, just make sure you're not having the light straight on the glass, on the object. These reflections are unwanted. Just bring it on the background, see, on the glass, off the glass, on the background, and we're taking the first shot. There we go. What I do now, for yeah, convenience reasons, I'm gonna put two flashes on top to, uh, yeah, to, to create the light on the backdrop. And uh, this is what I'm doing first now. What I've done, two off-camera flashes, um, yeah, left and right of my subject. And we've got to be very careful that we are not throwing light straight on the glass. Just what I've demonstrated you right now. And all I have to do now is setting the flashes up. Let's start with 1 16th of flash power. F11, 125th of a second. Flash power. That's still way too much. Reducing it even further. Still too much. 13. And we have our first results. Um, good. Now, the variety is we are using different glasses. So let's take that first one off. And simply use a wine glass. Carefully filling this. As you see, you can uh, either fill it completely or partially. Make 
make sure we align it properly, that's far off. It needs to go to the right until we have it perfectly at the place where we want it to be. See, the autofocus can deal with it. Yes, that's looking all right. And that's it. And instead of changing the glass, we are now going to change uh, the backdrops, trying different colors, different color combinations. And uh, even that black and white pattern here. So let me change that first. That one away. And now let's see if we can do the same with this pattern here. Let's try the autofocus first. There we go. I like the result. And going back to our champagne flute. Another focus and yes I'm happy with that. And uh, yeah this is the way I'm working my way through. Changing glasses, changing the patterns in the background, maybe uh, vary with the fill levels of the glasses until I'm really having all the shots I want for the entire session. And this is what I'm going to do now, quickly. I cut it short for you. Okay, and I'm done with all the colors and shapes I wanted to do. Uh, what about uh, I'm giving you a little slideshow with the different results we've created today. I'll be back afterwards. <laughs> pleased with what I've seen right now. I like these kind of images. Um, the best thing, we did it on a budget. Okay, I spent uh, just a little bit on ink to create the backdrops. If you do have anything ready, you don't even have, need to have that. You don't need to have any fancy flashlights. A single torch will do the job, as I've showed you in the beginning. And you can do it with pretty much any camera. SLR with a kit lens does the job. Even a compact camera, perfectly fine. Um, with limitations, you can even do it on a smartphone. The limitation is, smartphone usually has a very wide angle lens, so you either have a kind of tailor adapter or you zoom in, and uh, having a bigger backdrop certainly helps for that. So really, we did it with no investment, and I really like creating images on a budget. A um, little summary. Uh, we need to have backdrops, whatever floats your boat, colorful patterns, use what you like. You have glasses in your kitchen and uh, some water. Make sure the light is on the, on the backdrop only. We do not want to have any light on our, on our subject, on our glass, because it creates horrible uh, reflections. Unless you want to create these reflections, obviously, if they are part of your vision, then sure create them. Try different glasses, try different fill levels in the glasses, fill them up completely, whatever you like. So the variations are endless and uh, with a small budget you can create nice pieces of art. Good, this is it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, click like, maybe leave me a comment, don't forget to subscribe and yeah, thanks for watching. I'm hoping to see you here again soon.